So after the last video, I had a few questions about shadows, whether or not the subject will cast shadows um, through switch lights setup. And the quick answer is no. By default, it seems like it does not. What I have here is a plane and the plane that the material of uh, the woman is on right here. You can see the plane, the regular plane plane cast shadows and she does not. So trying to figure out uh, what the issue was, I did put the material on this plane, as you can see, well, it's sideways, but as you can see, that shadow disappears. So definitely, I figured it was part of the problem with the material. So I went into the material, and being a novice in Unreal, I just was clicking around and checking what settings worked. What I found was if you search shadow, just shadow, not shadows, otherwise it won't come up, you have this cast dynamic shadow as mask. If you click this, you'll see the shadow comes up here. We're going to apply that, and there we have it. Now it's casting a shadow from your subject. And the, sh the, the light I have is, let me back up here, uh, this spotlight up here, which I set up to be a little more diffused, so the shadows are a bit softer around the edges. However, there is a problem. And the reason I have this spotlight up here is because the initially I was just trying to use the sun. But what you'll see is if I bring the sun around to the front of her, you'll start seeing these, I'm just going to call them scan lines because they remind me of TV scan lines. I'm sure there's a, you know, more accurate description for it. And I don't know what is causing this. Um, I don't think it's my computer. I mean, that's a possibility, but I don't believe so. Um, because it's only happening with the sun. And so maybe this directional light, there is a setting in here. I mean, we have cast shadows and I can turn that off but that's getting rid of all shadows in the world and that's not something i think you would really want it seems to be casting shadows off of something and i don't know what it is and this fully could be that there's a setting or there's something that i don't understand about how um, the atmosphere and all that has been set up in here so the other thing i wanted to test is if you could cast a shadow onto the subject because i know that the lighting effects work and it'll create shadows from like the materials but can you cast shadows from an object onto uh, the subject and the answer to that is no as far as I can tell again there may be a solution that I don't know because I'm a novice so please you know don't look to this channel for expert tutorials and expert advice because I'm figuring this out along the way but I put this uh, I put the cylinder up here in the light and if I move this up and down left and right you can see it is definitely traveling in the light in front of her but it's not reacting so I guess these are some limitations to switch light at least from what I can tell so far is that you can use lighting to relight the material of the subject there is seemingly a solution to cast shadows from the subject, but so far there's a glitchiness in using the sunlight to do that, and you can't cast shadows onto the subject. Um, again, at least so far. One other thing in regards to the uh, glitchiness from the sun is I did try to rebuild the lighting. I did restart the engine, and uh, none of that seemed to resolve it. So. You know, I don't know. It, it does seem like it's casting a shadow from something, so perhaps there's a setting. Again, if you know what the issue is, please comment below. Let me know. Um, I know this doesn't answer all the questions about shadows, but hopefully it helps to get a little bit more understanding of what the limitations are in Switch Lite. And again, um, to cast shadows, what I did find is turning on this cast dynamic shadow as mask. 
And for anybody that wanted to get a look at the uh, the nodes in here, I'll just kind of scroll through this. And if you are familiar with nodes, um, this will just give you an idea of how that's all set up. So anyway, uh, hope it helps. Hope it gets you a step further or answers any questions you might have about Switchlight if you haven't been able to test it for yourself. And again, anybody who knows more, please comment and let me know. Thanks.